Hey everyone, my name's Austin and this channel is all about digging deeper and going further to better understand faith and film and everything that is in between. If that's exciting to you, you can subscribe to my channel for a new video just like this one every Friday. It may not be Friday right now, but I want to throw up a bonus video. I want to experiment with an idea that I had. And I want to go through 10 great movies that you can stream right now. It's going to be on the various different streaming platforms, and I felt like it was a good opportunity for me to share some great movies that some of these, until recently, I didn't even know you could stream right now. So this is a time-sensitive video as the day of recording this is March 4th, so some of these may not be available a few weeks or maybe even just a few months or it could be on there for a while on these streaming platforms, so know that this is a time-sensitive video for how long it might be available on that platform. Without further ado, let's jump right in. First on this list is Super 8. Super 8 is a really cool kind of J.J. Abrams, Steven Spielberg collaboration. If you are a fan of Stranger Things, this will really scratch that itch for you while we're waiting for season 4. If you've not seen it, I highly recommend checking it out. Right now it is available on Hulu and Amazon Prime Video. Next, with the highly anticipated A Quiet Place 2 coming out very soon, it is the perfect time to either watch for the first time or re-watch A Quiet Place. It was a very culturally impactful film, very popular when it came out a couple years ago, and now we have the sequel just around the corner. Right now, this movie is available to stream on both Hulu and Amazon Prime Video. We do have to wait another year or so probably until we get another entry in the Mission Impossible franchise, but what's great about this franchise is it works as a whole and if you've seen everything, but if not, you can kind of get the gist from watching these movies one at a time. But coming out a couple years ago now is Mission Impossible 6 and that is Fallout. It was... It might be my favorite Mission Impossible movie so far. I uh, absolutely adored this. I loved it when it was in the theaters. I've seen it two or three times now. The Mission Impossible franchise is great and has only gotten better with age. Right now, you can watch Mission Impossible Fallout on both Amazon Prime Video and Hulu. So if you've not seen this one, check it out. It is an excellent, excellent action movie. Next, we have Bumblebee, which in my opinion, is probably the best Transformers movie we've gotten so far in, when it comes to the live action stuff. The first Transformers movie with Michael Bay was good. I do like that one quite a bit, but they just went off the rails and downhill from there. But finally, we got what I think is a great, great Transformers movie. A lot of people that I know have not checked this one out yet, and I think it is one that you really should add to your watch list and check out because it's a really good story, really good characters with a lot of great Transformers universe world things in it as well. Right now you can stream Bumblebee on Hulu and maybe Prime Video? I don't think so, I might be wrong on that, but at least Hulu. So if you have Hulu, check out Bumblebee. It's definitely worth your time. This one is one I just found out is streaming. I've been wanting to watch it for some time, was planning on just buying it and watching it that way, but then I found out it's on both Hulu and Amazon Prime, and that is Cabin in the Woods. I talked about this one not too long ago on my channel when I did my haul and watched video. This is a great horror movie as it really experiments and plays around with the typical tropes and uses of the horror genre and things that take place. It really turns things on its head and really just has so much fun with everything that it is packed with. Chris Hemsworth is great seeing him do something different than the Thor stuff. This was right around the time he got popular with that and I really liked this. I had never seen it before. It's one I'll definitely be going back to. Right now you can watch Cabin in the Woods on both Hulu and Amazon Prime Video. Next is one of the greatest movies of all time, and that is Good Will Hunting. This movie's amazing. The script is nearly perfect. Robin Williams is incredible. Matt Damon's incredible. Ben Affleck's incredible. Casey Affleck's incredible. They're all great in this movie. And right now, you can watch Good Will Hunting on Hulu. So if this is one you've never gotten around to, make it a point, check this one out. Even if it means getting a Hulu free trial just to watch this movie, it's worth it. A couple quick ones that are exclusive to Prime Video right now. I want you to check out Warrior 
and Creed 2. These ones kind of funny, they're both boxing fighting movies, I just realized that now, but these are both excellent movies. I've seen both of them once so far. Creed 2 is turning into a really cool franchise. We might end up with a trilogy soon. I think the third one is in the works right now. The first one is probably better, but not by very much. The second one is still a very worthy sequel in addition to the whole Rocky franchise. And Warrior is a very, very underrated and underappreciated movie. Tom Hardy and Joel Edgerton give their performances of a lifetime. Nick Nolte is in this one as well. He is incredible. The three of them together and their on-screen chemistry is just mind-blowingly good. Everything about this movie is incredible. Even if you're not into fighting movies, it's just a great drama to really just sit down take in and enjoy. You will not regret checking this one out. Next, a couple of Netflix gems in here for you. Right now, I just found out that Snowpiercer is streaming on Netflix. I hadn't seen this one for a few years and just watched Parasite a couple of times as that one's out. So I figured with the popularity of it, if you wanna check out another Bong Joon-ho movie, check out Snowpiercer. It's a great action thriller, really has a lot to say, similar themes-ish to the Parasite movie. Oftentimes Snowpiercer is considered his best film. Parasite definitely gave it a run for its money. So those are definitely on top for me as his best films. They're the only two I've seen so far, so can't really have too much weight with that one. I wanna check out more of his films, but check out Snowpiercer if you have not yet. It does star Chris Evans. It's, besides Knives Out, the only movie he's done besides playing Captain America in a Marvel movie over the past like 10 or 11 years. So he's great in it and so is everyone else. Do yourself a favor, check it out. I wanted to give you something a little older, maybe something you haven't seen for a long time, maybe something you never saw. And that is one of my favorite comedies of all time and that is Monty Python and the Holy Grail. This movie, I've seen it so many times. I used to, like in middle school, pretty much be able to quote the entire movie. That's how many times I had seen it. My dad introduced me to this one and we watched it all the time when I was growing up. I've been meaning to go back to it. I probably haven't watched it for four or five years now. So it's one I do want to go back to again soon. I own it so I can watch it anytime, but it's one that is available right now that you can watch on Netflix. So that is all 10 movies that I wanted to share that are great movies that you can stream right now. A couple bonuses I want to throw out there. These are ones that I have not seen yet, but I thought are worth mentioning. Bad Boys 1 and Bad Boys 2 are streaming right now on Netflix. I just found this out last night before recording this video and wanted to include them in last minute because Bad Boys for Life just came out. So now I have the opportunity to watch the entire trilogy for the first time. I'm very excited to do this. Hopefully it will be soon. And I know this is a really cool, really popular, culturally relevant and impactful franchise and trilogy now. So I'm excited to check this one out. So there's a couple bonus movies for you as well. And thank you, thank you for sticking around to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like it, make sure you're subscribed and share it with someone who you know will enjoy it just as much as you did. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.